Hey, Mike with Vanco Care here, and today's video will be walking you through the four types of daycare toys every child care program needs, so let's get into it. Now there are a lot of different types of toys that you could have in your daycare center, and there's a couple key things you want to keep in mind before choosing the types of toys. But the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to match the age of the children in your center with the toys you have available. So this means you'll likely need a variety of different age-based toys within your center. You don't wanna to have toys that are really too advanced for the children in your center, but you also don't want to only have toys that are very basic that older children might not engage with. So really match the age level with the type of children you have in your center and program. On top of that, you don't necessarily need the most expensive toys to have the best experience for the children. A lot of times children will have just as much fun with a used toy or a toy that isn't brand new as they would with one that's fresh to the market that everyone's talking about. Another thing to consider is that safety should come first with these different toys. So again, make sure that you're always supervising these children when playing with toys if they're younger. Try and avoid toys that might create choking hazards for children because you don't want to run into any potential safety issues because of the toys that you have in your center. Now when it comes to the toys you should have for older children, you also want to make sure that those have a learning type focus as well and will prepare them for the next step in their learning journey. So again, that might be elementary school, that might be preschool, depending on what age children you have in your program. So keep that in mind as well. But with those basic foundation ideas in place, let's get into the four types of toys you want to include in your center. All right, so the first type of toy you want to include in your center has to do with arts and crafts. Now arts and crafts have a lot of benefits for the children in your program. One, it can help them develop significantly, so it can help them develop coordination, it can help them with problem solving skills, it can help them express their creativity. On top of that, it gives them something to be proud of or a feeling of accomplishment when they complete an art project and they're able to share that with their parents. Now along with this, you definitely want to consider having different cleaning supplies available or ways to make arts and crafts a little bit less messy for the children. So you might consider getting aprons for the kids and having cleaning products available on hand to make sure it doesn't damage their clothing or ruin any of their other items they might have brought to the daycare. And when it comes to what items you should include, there's a whole list of things you can have on hand in your center. So you could have construction paper, safety scissors, crayons, glue, this can be glue bottles and glue sticks, water soluble paints, finger paint, paint brushes, macaroni, glitter if you choose to. That can kind of get out of hand, but something you might consider. And then also newspaper that you can place down to help clean up messes more efficiently. But definitely consider doing arts and crafts and including that as one of the essential toys in your daycare program. All right, the second type of toy you want to have in your daycare program are toys to develop fine motor skills. And certainly arts and crafts can play a role in this as well, but fine motor skills are something that the children in your program are going to use the rest of their life. So it's very beneficial to have a variety of toys that can help develop this skill set. And the sooner they're able to develop these skills, the easier it can be for them to perform everyday common tasks that they'll use for a lifetime. So having toys in your center that can help them develop these skills naturally is a great idea. And so again, a variety of toys that you can include could be things like building blocks, Legos, foam balls, dolls, and other type of real life play toys. So maybe it's like a cooking set or tool set, things like toy cars, or even things like sensory bins filled with rice or water or sand, different things like that. The more of these options you have, the better. Again, because it can help them develop these fine motor skills they'll use forever. All right, the third type of daycare toy you want to include in your center are educational toys. And so these are great, again, similar to fine motor skill toys. This is helping them to develop educational and learning skills that they'll use for a lifetime. On top of that, a lot of parents these days are looking for centers that also provide that educational component and learning development. So this could even help you set yourself apart from other competing centers by including these educational toys. So again, you wanna have different types of educational toys to match the age range and development stage of the children in your program. So this could include a variety of books of various reading levels. You wanna include a reading area, so somewhere that's comfortable for the children, whether it's the teacher sharing story time with the children, or if they're a little bit older, maybe even helping them to start to develop reading skills. Other toys you might wanna include are toys that are focused around reading or things like learning the alphabet. 
Other things that can work well are puzzles, magnet tiles, simple instruments, things that you can paint and draw with. Some sensory toys can help with this as well, and potentially even language toys. A lot of centers these days are helping children to develop multi-language skills, so it might be English and Spanish, for example, or whatever makes sense for your program in your area. But educational toys are another essential foundation toy type you should have in your daycare program. All right, so the fourth type of toy you should have in your daycare center are outdoor play toys. And so playing outdoors has a lot of benefits for children in your program. It promotes physical activity. It can help them burn off some of the excess energy they might have during the day. It can help promote sharing skills, teamwork, it helps promote creativity and much more. Now, one thing to consider if you're going to have outdoor toys, make sure that the children are playing in an area that's fully fenced in and that the children are supervised. Again, the last thing you wanna have happen is a child running into the street or getting hurt using these outdoor toys, as obviously that would negate any of the benefits of these children using these outdoor toys. Now, a couple things to also keep in mind with these outdoor toys, you wanna to have a way to keep them easily clean. So if you're getting toys, make sure that's something that you can do quickly and easily. Also, you wanna make sure that you separate outdoor toys from indoor toys and make sure the children aren't bringing in outdoor toys into your daycare program. This can make a mess very quickly, and so you wanna have that separate designation for children. You might even suggest parents bring an outdoor set of clothes and an indoor set of clothes that children can change into. So if these clothes get dirty or grass stained or whatever the case might be, it's not as big of an issue. But again, there's a lot of options that you can do for outdoor toys. It can be things like playhouses, swing sets, rubber balls, bubbles potentially if you have supervision present, chalk, sand castles, sandboxes, basketballs, basketball hoops, soccer, soccer balls, soccer goals, different things like that to get children active, develop those motor skills even further, work on teamwork, and much more. So if you don't have outdoor toys, this is a great thing to include in the list of toys you have at your daycare center. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some benefit from it. If you did, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And make sure you add these toys to your collection at your daycare center if you don't have them already. Now, including the right toys is just one small step in properly managing your child care program. And that's where the team at Vanco Care comes into play. We have child care management systems to help you optimize and organize and streamline your childcare program to boost efficiency, increase enrollments, and help your childcare center grow quickly. So if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you, head on over to smartcare.com and request a demo, and we can walk you through exactly how you can build a customized childcare management system for your daycare program. On top of that, we also put together the ultimate guide to childcare management, how to optimize and automate your childcare management system. So if you'd like to download that free guide, there'll be a link in the description below where you can do so. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.